I'm live, I'm live, I'm live, and it's Friday. Come on, Friday, Friday, Friday. <clears throat> okay, so yes, it's a bit early in the morning. It's just like as up at five, half five this morning. This is what I do. I get up early in the morning, I plan my attack for the day, and bam, I'm away. So in this video, I thought I'd just answer the question, which a lot of people are asking me, how much will it cost to put my own septic tank and soak away in? So that's a very good question. So let me show you basically what typically um, a firm will charge you to put a septic tank and soak away in. So let's say, um, let's say you've got a, one to five bedroom property, right? Then typically, typically, and this is just typically, there's loads of variables, right? But typically, it's going to cost anywhere from six to nine thousand pounds to get someone to put the septic tank in for you <clears throat> so why does it cost so much money well obviously the people doing it have to make a living all right and if that's what they do for a living then um hence that's why they charge the price that they charge so they'll probably have a crew from one to three lads <laughs> typical time to install a septic tank typically takes some you know if the going's good even though they may come across some problems take them about five days um, costs oh yeah and you're also paying for a guarantee so you'll get anywhere from like 15 to 20 year guarantee uh guarantee i just spell that guarantee i think it's a bit early in the morning guarantee there you go so you get a 15 to 20 year guarantee so typically that is what it will cost you to get someone to install a septic tank and soak away for you whether that's a new one whether that's replacing an old septic tank and soak away so that's one particular route you can go down right now the other route you can go down is <laughs> is a big tip right and in fact it's such a big tip i'm gonna put i'm gonna put big tip one <laughs> right this is big tip right and septic tank insulation firms are going to hate me for this. But let me show you a surpassing way, a cheaper way, right, that you can get your septic tank installed, right? Two options. Option one. You can get a local builder or groundsman to do it, right? But there's a secret to doing this, right? Obviously, the easier it is for your groundsman or your builder to put a septic tank in, the less it's going to cost. So, before you even start, get yourself <clears throat> a low-profile, really shallow septic tank. All right, so we're dealing here with, uh, have I got any space here? So we're dealing with, say, one to six bed house. All right, so just in case you're wondering, it doesn't matter how big or how small your house is. It goes on bedrooms, okay, and that's how the tanks are sized. So do this, and I can save you three to six grand, just like that. <clears throat> Option one. Get yourself a low-profile shallow tank, right? Something like um, the bullet septic tanks. Why? Why go for a bullet septic tank, right? Because 
they're really shallow right so that means they can dig the hole in one hour maximum but in reality in fact i'm going to swap that because <clears throat> This is even more realistic. 40 mins. 40 mins, 40 minutes to one hour, right? That's what it will take them to dig the hole. Then I would go for something like, depending on what kind of soak away you want to go for, I've discussed that in other videos. And if you want to ring me for advice before getting a set, go to septic tank. .co.uk. Um, let me just show you. If you want more advice on how to do this, go to septictank.co.uk. You get loads of free advice on there. Um, I'll or ring me up. You know, I'll give you free advice and help you which system to go for. But anyway, so get yourself a bullet tank. Soak away wise, I would go for something like. Easy drain, or septic tank. Soak away crates. Okay, so both of those are really easy to install. Both of them <clears throat> are fully legal and compliant with UK building works. And they're very easy to put in. The easy drain is like herringbone pipes and they don't need any gravel. You literally dig a little trench about a half a foot, a foot below the grass, some trenches, put the pipe in, cover it over with topsoil. The crates, you just dig a little pit, put the crates in, put the membrane in and cover them with topsoil. So, so typically, right, option one, if you get your builder to do it, or groundsman. They will typically get your septic tank and soak away in. Let's go overboard. Let's say they really, really take their time doing it, right? It's gonna take the maximum two to three days, tops. But the secret lies, as I said, in getting yourself a bullet septic tank, right? Or getting easy drain or the septic tank soak away crates. That's the real secret <coughs> as to saving all that money. Not They're not cheap. They're just easy to install. Very, very easy to install. So that's option one. Option two And this is an option I seriously recommend. I really, really do, right? I really, really, really recommend this, right? Do it yourself. D I Y. Why? Because the bullet septic tank, easy drain, and the septic tank soak away crates are designed for the DIY market. They're designed for it. <coughs> The builder and the groundsman will take you two to three days because they don't want to seem to have just bam, 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 wham, bam, kind of get the job in and, and be gone. They kind of, all workmen, unfortunately, do stretch the job out a bit, right? So they don't get questioned as to why it took them so, you know, why they did it so quickly. Can I tell you the reality of the situation, right? If you've never put a septic tank in for the first time, never put your own soak away, if you go for a bullet tank or easy drain, or the crates, I kid you not, you'll start at nine o'clock and you'll be finished by two. Probably even one o'clock you'll be finished by. It will take you about four hours to get the whole job done. Day two, right, will just be tidying your garden back up. Okay, so if you do it yourself, you're with no experience with a three or a five ton digger or even a JCB, you do it quicker. It will take you 
four to five hours tops maximum okay so i would seriously recommend considering doing it yourself so that's my big tip for the day if you can avoid it don't pay someone like me six to ten grand to put a septic tank and soak away in i would go consider that option all the time do it yourself got to trust me on that if you're a broke if you're a bloke you're going to love driving that digger for three four hours you've just got to dig well in fact let me show you that all right let me show you what you've got to do let me just show you let me show you how easy it is all right so you've got to get yourself as i said so what what would you need right so um let's put equipment all right so let's look what equipment will you need well you need a digger it can be a three ton a five ton or a JCB, okay? That's the biggest cost. The hole, <laughs> all right, let me show you. All right, so this is what you've got to do, right? Now, if you're wondering what that looks like, looks something like a Tetris, doesn't it? But look, this hole here, the first hole, is for the tank. It will take you 40 minutes to dig. Let's say one hour tops. That's just taking your time because they're so shallow, these bullet septic tanks are. So let's just put it in here for you, right? There's your tank. One hour, maximum. Okay, then you've got a pipe going from your tank to an inspection chamber. And you've got a pipe going from there into, um, so let me just put some water in here, look. So you can see. All right. So the two trenches there and the inspection chamber, let's say an hour again, right? Let's say an hour, all right? And then you soak away. So whether it consists of the easy drain or the soak away crates, septic tank soak away crates. By the way, don't use rainwater crates. They're, they're, they're just, people try and skimp on the, the total price by using um, rainwater crates. Rainwater crates just don't work because the membrane isn't suitable for the suspended solids in the septic tank and you just end up digging it again. And what you thought you saved, you will lose because you'll have to dig the hole up again. And oh man. So just trust me, just go for some septic tank soak away crates or easy drain, come to that. So look, and then the crates then all and the water goes into the soak away and it just percolates away so i reckon that will take you an hour but let's say let's say an hour and a half right so we've got one two three three and a half hours so let's say <laughs> you have a few teething problems and things go wrong right it's going to take you four to five hours tops start at saturday morning you'll be finished by tea time if if we stretch it out i'm really dripping giving you some leeway here but that basically is the amount of time it's going to take you to put your own tank in and that's how complicated it is not All right dig a little hole for your tank put your tank in put your pipes put your crates in job done so if you want to save anywhere from 
three to seven thousand quid. I seriously recommend that you do it yourself. I can't stress that enough. You'll thank me for it. You really will. As I said, just the two biggest requirements you need, and don't forget this, right, is a bullet, septic tank, or easy drain, or um, septic tank, soak away crates. Now remember, they have to be septic tank soak away crates. You know, you will pay more money for them compared to rainwater crates, but you shouldn't even be comparing them to rainwater crates. It's just a cheap stunt that builders do to have been, I don't know, make a few extra hundred quid, but the person whose actual soak away it is, it, it fails in six months. So look, if you want a good deal on a septic tank kit, I do one at septictank.co.uk. I supply the whole lot together. Obviously, you'll only get the easy drain or the crates for the tank, but I do septic tank um, kits where I supply the tank and the manhole chamber and the soak away together. I do a really good deal. Um, <clears throat> I even pay for um, all the delivery or at the very least, I just charge 99 quid. So if say delivery is normally 300 quid, I just charge you 99 quid delivery on it. The way I look at it is every little helps. And um, so the more money left over in your pocket, the better. So there you go. So that's my tip of the day to save you a lot of money, thousands in fact. So thank you very much for watching my live broadcast. And hopefully, <laughs> if time permits, I may do another one later. But look, you're welcome to tune in to my live broadcast. I do them twice a day at least, if not three or four times a day. So you're more than welcome to tune in to my live broadcast broadcast anytime but listen thank you very much for watching i'm now going to end the broadcast and i will speak to you